To make this, we need any kind of NPN transistor. I am using BC337. In the base of the transistor, we will provide plus 5 volt. Here we are providing input. To see the input, we will connect an LED. It is 220 ohms. And the value of the resistor is 1 kilo ohms. With a collector of the transistor, we will connect 220 ohms resistor and the other side of the resistor should be connected to the plus 5 volt. And to see the output, we are connecting the LED. Now we'll see the working of the circuit. When the switch is off, then no current flow through this switch or through the LED or through this resistor. So in this condition, there is no connection between collector and the emitter as the transistor is open. And we can see that this LED is glowing as this 5 volt is connected to here and current is flowing through this resistor through this resistor and then through the LED and to the ground. So it is glowing. Current is flowing through this way. So when the switch is off we are getting high output. Now when the switch is on then this LED will glow and also the transistor is now turned on because the current is flowing through the 1 kilo ohms resistor and it is getting high signal to the base of the transistor. So in this time the transistor is closed so this collector is directly connected to the ground so now the current will flow in this way because it has low resistive way than this. As the transistor is closed, so this 5 volt is connected to the ground through this 220 ohms. In this condition, so this is what we are getting in this. So current will not flow through this way. It will flow through this way because this is the low resistive way than this. So in this way, whenever the switch is turned on, then we will get zero output. Now we will see this on the breadboard. One pin is connected to the plus 5 volt. With the other side of the switch, input LED and resistor is connected. And also with this, one kilo ohm resistor is connected. And this one kilo ohm is connected to the base of the transistor. Emitter is connected to the ground. Collector is connected to the positive rail through 220 ohms resistor and with the collector positive pin of the LED is connected and negative pin is connected to the ground connecting positive and negative rails now I am connecting the power supply here is negative and the positive as the input is off so we are getting the output and when input is 1 then output will be 0 so this is how this circuit works Thanks for watching.